The subject of this video is the new OneDrive. Grab your coffee and let's get started. The new OneDrive has become your place to go to get access, share, and secure all your documents across OneDrive, SharePoint, and Teams. Uh, this video I will show you how to use OneDrive and the new features and provide some tips and tricks. So let's take a look at the home page. Uh, looking at the home page, you have to the left the navigation top you have search and settings to the right and in the middle the content areas so clicking at home you get a summary of all the links to your data and uh, your past documents clicking on add new you have the ability to create a folder upload files upload a folder create a document um, it'll for example create a document in word um, we'll get into that a bit later. So clicking on My Files, a list of folders, files. This is OneDrive proper. This is your document library associated with your OneDrive. So here you can sort based on the header. Uh, so if you click on Modified, you can sort uh, by older or newer. You can go into uh, past dates to sort and filter. There's a variety of ways of slicing and dicing. I suggest you play around with that to get a feel for it. This is documents that are shared, so it's shared with you, um, by you. Um, the listing of the documents will give you the file and who shared them with you and uh, on this page uh, if they were modified. And here you have favorites, so to the right of any file or folder you can click the star and that will flag the folder or file as a favorite and it will appear here. So most recent documents you want to work on, you can favorite them. This is the recycle bin. If you delete something, it'll go to the recycle bin, stay there for 30 days, then it goes to a secondary recycle bin, it'll stay there for 60 days. If you delete something accidentally, go to the recycle bin, click the checkbox, click restore. These are browse files by people, so people that have shared documents with you, there'll be the name to the left and then the files to the right, and these are meetings. Uh, meetings from uh, your teams that you belong to. Quick access will list all the SharePoint sites and OneDrives, anything you've shortcutted, and we'll get into shortcuts later. But this is another set of links to um, libraries and, and teams um, that you that you belong to, um, SharePoint sites you belong to, um, OneDrives that people have shared with you. It's a listing of um, pretty much all those different um, sources. So let's take a look at how your storage is used on your OneDrive. So on the bottom left, click on storage. And here you'll see a list of files and you'll have the name modified by modified file size location. And if you select a file, you'll get some options like open the file, share it, copy the link or delete or favorite. Um, here we'll give you a snapshot of documents or videos that are consuming your storage. So let's take a look at search. Search is your buddy. If you can't find something, you forget where you saved it, uh, go to search on the home page. Go to the home page first because it's context sensitive. And then type something in. So um, Teams, for example, um, you could uh, type in something related to a project. So type in a project name and all the uh, project files will, will display or whatever you've typed in, anything associated with that uh, text will appear. So here's Tofino past videos I've done, I, I mentioned Tofino. Over to the right, you can filter on the document type, Word, Excel, you can go back to the modified time. So older documents, newer documents. There's a lot of filtering, slicing and dicing you can do with the search results so that ultimately you can find your documents as quickly as possible. So let's take a look at the navigation elements in the top right corner. So you'll see what looks like a megaphone. You click on that, it's essentially a welcome to OneDrive and some other information. If you click on the people icon, it's providing feedback. 
you know, you have a feature request or some feedback on a problem or some ideas, um, you know, you can provide that there. Here's the settings. This is the area you'll go to most of the time. You know, you can adjust the settings for notifications, the colors, day or night mode. So here's some notification settings you can go into. You can experiment with those. You know, it all depends on how much you want to know about what's going on in your OneDrive. Uh, more settings around, you know, region, you know, you in Canada, U.S. Europe, um, language settings, um, site collection features, storage information. So let's click on the regional settings. So your time zone, where you're located. So we look at languages, you know, you can, you can choose a language, you can add a language pack on and, uh, you know, you would set it up for French, German, English, uh, whatever your language is. Um, you can look at the storage metrics, which we did earlier. Um, this provides a bit more detail around what's happening with storage and what documents are consuming most of space. And I think there is a sharing report here. So if you want to know what you've shared, you want a detailed report, you click on that, select the folder where you want the report, and it'll run. Now, we'll come back to this a bit later because it takes a bit of time for it to run. And then um, let's click on settings again. Then we can go to um, the restore your OneDrive. In addition to the recycle bin, this tool also uses the recycle bin. What it'll do is it'll look for documents um, based on the date you select. It'll provide you a summary. You can select the files and restore them. Essentially, the slider lets you go through the dates and, and the time, you know, when the, the, the files and the age, you can select what you want. You can select uh, a theme. I prefer to go high contrast, white screen. And then uh, dark text, I just find it's better on the eyes, easier to find things. But, you know, do, do what you think is best. Um, there's some contact uh, preferences as well. You can go in and change, but usually your administrator set that up for you. So let's take a look at My Files. So click on the My Files link to the left. Here you'll see all your folders and files. You can browse through the folders by clicking on them. Along the top, the header area, you've got the ability to sort and filter. Just click on the header, click on the drop down, and you can see the uh, sorting, filtering capabilities. Um, you've got further sorting over to the right. You can select the, the metadata or the columns associated with the documents. You can also also organized by list or small list or tiles. It really depends on how you uh, like viewing your data. And also there's a details link. So you click on the details. It gives you uh, some updates as to what's been occurring in your library for the past uh, little while there. Um, if you select an item, like let's browse down to a file, click the checkbox. Along the top, you'll see options to open the file. You can share it. You can copy the link. You can delete it. You could favorite it. Note here, you can open in browser or in the full client mode. Here you can share. So you can uh, share with someone. Um, there's quite a bit of functionality. Um, listed here and then again your favorites so you can uh, experiment with these features to organize your data and try to keep it as organized as possible so you can get to it here you can uh, move uh, items you select move a menu will come up where you select a destination we'll do this in more detail a little bit later on and here you can automate. So this, if you decide to create some power apps, you can create some automations for uh, approvals. As an example, I've created an approval. I have a video on that. If you want to search my videos, uh, feel free to. If you um, go down and click on the ellipses beside a folder or a file, you'll get a context menu that gives you options, again, to open, to share, to copy, to move. And here's the um, sharing capability where you can go in and click share and you can specify a person. So you enter their email address. And then to the right, you can um, select um, you know, whether they have view or edit. And we'll get into that a little bit later in another, another section of this video. Let's take a look at the uh, shared link. So click on shared and browse to a file and click on the ellipses and go manage access. Here you can see who has access to the file, what level of access. 
um, the person has to the file, you can make changes. Um, you can see that uh, uh, Carrie can edit. You can also get a link. You can delete that link if you want. You click the, the garbage bin beside the copy there. Let's select another file and click on the ellipses and then manage access. So here again, um, I have full control. Carrie has a view but can't uh, download. Here, if you click stop sharing, then uh, Carrie will have no longer have access to that file. So let's take a look at favorites. So just like your browser favorites, OneDrive has a favorites area that's easy to get to. So any folder or file, you can click the favorite star over to the right and it'll favorite the item for you. So maybe, you know, top items you work on, um, documents that are key to your, your work on a daily basis, projects, so let's take a look at that shared report that I had requested earlier in the video. Um, I requested that it be downloaded to the documents folder. So let's scroll down and look for it. And there it is. So let's click on it and open it up in Excel web. It's a little bit crunched. So let's expand the columns out. So let's work through each column and we'll expand the columns. So the report uh, gives you the file, the location, the person that has access, the permission level, um, and there's some other information that, you know, isn't really that useful. But the, the point of this is that it gives you something to remediate. It tells you what's been shared, who has access, you can go through and do a cleanup. So let's take a look at quick access. Quick access is shortcuts to libraries, um, within Teams, within SharePoint sites. It could be shortcuts to OneDrives. And you've selected these shortcuts or these are SharePoint sites uh, or libraries that have been um, shared with you, um, Teams channels that you belong to. So it's a great summary of um, libraries, documents and folders that you um, are working with, you have access to. So let's create a folder. So we want to create a folder within another folder, just as an example, but you can create the folder anywhere you like. So click on My Files, and then I want to create a folder within the Documents folder. So I click on the Documents, now I click on Add New, I click on Folder, and it's always useful to have a coffee while you're doing this work. So type in a name, alphanumerics only, no special characters, they're not supported by Microsoft. Select a color. And you may come up with a scheme after you've used OneDrive for a while. And there's your folder. You can click on it and see there's no contents. And if you want, you can drag and drop or upload a file. So let's create a document. We'll create a Word document. So um, click on Add New. Click on Word Document. Now let's type in some text. And you can type in any sort of text you like. Um, I'm using Grammarly, so every once in a while that uh, pops up and tells me to correct things. Great app, by the way, if you haven't uh, subscribed to it. So once you've typed in your text, click on the upper left there. You can see the location of where it's shared and saved, sorry, and its name. And if they were prior versions, you would see the, the version history. So let's just um, close the browser and go to my files and go down to the documents area and you can see where the uh, file has been created. You can move it later if you like. So let's upload a document to your new folder. So click on my files, browse to your new folder or any folder you like, whatever you like, and then click on add new and then upload file or file upload and then select the file and then click on Upload. And there's the file. So let's drag and drop a file. So uh, go to the folder you, where you want to drag the file, open up your Explorer, and drag and drop the file to the location. And then just refresh the page, and the file will appear. So let's move a document. Um, browse to one of your documents under My Files, and then click on the ellipses to the right and select Move. 
You could do a move or a copy, but for this we're going to do a move to. Now you select the folder that you want to move the document to. You click on the folder and you click move and now it's done. So click on the folder where you move the file and you'll see the file. Okay, now let's uh, share a document. So um, browse to my files and then um, select the file. Click the, the sharing icon to the right of the file. Now let's enter a person's email and then to the right select the permission level. Edit, view, or view and can't download. So let's uh, click on view, type in a message, say hello, here's the file you want access to, give them some context in the message about what the file is about, and then when you're done, uh, click send. And you'll get a message that it's been uh, shared. Let's take a closer look at the recycle bin. So click on my files to the left, and then let's select the file, click on the ellipses to the right, and then let's delete it. Okay, now over to the left, click on the recycle bin. Now there's the file. Click the checkbox next to it and click restore. Okay, now go back to the location where the file was and there it's fully restored. So let's take a look at the OneDrive sync app and we'll check the status of sync if you look in the upper left of a mac you'll see the blue icon the cloud click on that if you're windows it's in the bottom right of the icon tray you can start and stop the sync process you can go into the account information and you can see what is synced right now i just have one drive if i had synced with a sharepoint library it would show up and show me the status of the sync here you can select or deselect uh, folders and files. Um, if you run into synchronization problems, you can start and stop the sync. The new OneDrive has some great document management features that help you organize, capture, share, and secure your documents. It's the personal document management solution for those that work with Windows, Macs, and also work with Outlook and other Microsoft tool sets. In this video, I showed you how you can search on documents, how you can create folders, upload, drag and drop, report on security, and recover files that you've deleted. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe.